let me present the uh, the main celebrant of the today's mass, who, who you meet in some minutes. Uh, today we took part in a, g a great a big uh, journey because uh, in, in five uh, four hours we can meet uh, speakers from four continents. The main celebrant of the holy mass is Al Alfredo Jose Espino Mateus, uh, Archbishop of Quito, who will be the host of the next inter International Eucharistic Congress in 2014 in Ecuador. Uh, the Holy Mass will be accompanied by uh, gypsy language music, the, the composer of which is the only 23 years old uh, Gergi Ola Potrik. The artistic um, lead, uh, leader of the production is uh, George Lakatos Jr. Uh, the Chamber Orchestra of National Philharmonics um, will uh, play together. The master of concert is uh, Ferenc Bongo, and the, uh, the, choir, the leader of the choir is Monica uh, Ketchkesh. Uh, it will be accompanied by cymbal, uh, played by Roja Forkos. The soloist will be Nicoletta Suke and Nicolas Tokac. The conductor is Arpas Taner Tubian. This uh, music doesn't um, belong to the Roman minorities, but to everybody who knows uh, that the European minorities uh, underwent a lot of things during history together with their fellow uh,
He fed them with the finest wheat and satisfied them with honey from the rock. Hallelujah. In el nombre del Padre y del Hijo y del Espíritu in, in the name of Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, Amen. The peace be with you. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to prepare the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done, and what I have failed to do through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to ever everlasting life. Amen.
Oremos, Señor Jesucristo, que en este admirable sacramento nos dejaste el memorial de su Oh God, who in this wonderful sacrament have left us a memorial of your passion, grant us, we pray, so to revere the sacred mysteries of your body and blood that we may always experience in ourselves the fruits of the redemption. Who live and reign with God the Father in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Lectura de la carta del apóstol San Pablo. Reading from the letter of Saint Paul to the Colossians. You are, you are God's chosen race, his saints. He loves you and you should be clothed in sincere compassion, in kindness and humility, gentleness and patience. Bear with one another. Forgive each other as soon as a quarrel begins. The Lord has forgiven you. Now you must do the same. Over all these clothes to keep them together and complete them, put on love. <coughs> and may the peace of Christ reign in your hearts, because it's for this that you were called together as parts of one body. <coughs> will be, always be thank, thankful. Let the message of Christ in all its richness find home with you. <coughs> Teach each other and advise each other in all wisdom. With gratitude in your hearts, sing psalms and hymns and inspired songs to God. And never say or do anything expect in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God in his holy place, praise him in his mighty heavens, praise him for his powerful deeds, praise his surpassing greatness. him with sound of trumpet. 
praise him with lute and harp. Praise him with timbrel and dance. Praise him with strings and pipes. Praise him with resounding cymbals. Praise him with clashing of cymbals. Let everything that lives and breathes give praise to the Lord. If we love one another, God will live in us in, in perfect love. Alleluia. Dominus vobiscum. Letio Santi Evangeli secundum Lucam. Jesus said to his disciples, I say this to you who are listening, love your enemies, do good to those who hate you, bless those who curse you, pray for those who treat you badly. To the man who slaps you on one cheek, present the other cheek too. To the man who takes your cloak from you, do not refuse your tunic. Give to everyone who asks you, and do not ask for your property back from the man who robs you. Treat others as you would like them to treat you. If you, love, if you love those who love you, what thanks can you expect? 
Even sinners love those who love them. And if you do good to those who do good to you, what thanks can you expect? For even sinners do that much. And if you lend to those from whom you hope to receive, what thanks can you expect? Even sinners lend to sinners to get back the same amount. Instead, love your enemies and do good and lend without any hope of return. You will have a great reward and you will be sons of the Most High. For he himself is kind to the ungrateful and to the wicked. Be compassionate as your father is compassionate. Do not judge and you will not be judged yourselves. Do not condemn and you will not be condemned yourselves. Grant pardon and you will be pardoned. Give and there will be gifts for you. A full measure pressed down, shaken together and running over will be poured into your lap. Because the amount you measure out is the amount you will be given back. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear Father Bishops, dear priests, His Eminence says, dear brothers and sisters, in the psalm we read, let every living thing praise the Lord. Let us praise Him in His sanctuary for His mighty deeds. Let us praise him with harp and scyther, and praise him with our lives. Let us praise him in the love with which we love others. Let us praise him by turning my other eyes, my, my other face to them. Praise him by loving our enemies, doing good and expecting nothing in return. Praise him by having a heart as merciful as our as as the heart of our father our god let us praise and thanks the lord for his eucharistic presence he has walked among us accompanying us every single day on the journey of our lives let us also praise him because during the pandemic which caused so much pain and suffering his eucharistic presence strengthened us and taught us how to cope with sickness death and sadness. Pope Francis explicitly says, quote, may the body and blood of Christ be for all a presence and a support in the midst of difficulties. 
an unearthly consolation in the suffering of daily life and the guarantee of eternal resurrection." Unquote. Saint Paul reminds us that we are God's chosen ones. This obliges us to embrace in our lives mercy, kindness, gentleness, and patience. But above all, it obliges us to love one another and to live in harmony, for this is the bond of perfection. Let's ask ourselves, do we know how to love? Is it difficult for us to love? Why don't we love so often? What closes our hearts in front of love? What prevents us from knowing how to forgive and receive those who hurt us? And Jesus calls us to listen to his clear and unambiguous message. To you who listen, I say, love your enemies. Do good to your haters. To those who curse you, say a blessing and pray for your detractors. As Pope Francis says, it is terribly difficult to love our enemies those who cause us pain and suffering. However, this is exactly the road that showed, that was shown to us by Jesus for our salvation. Do we have enemies? We have to be realistic. Yes, we have enemies. We also have enemies. We all have enemies, all of us. Some of our enemies are weaker, some of them are stronger. In fact, Many times we ourselves become the enemies of others. We simply don't like them. Jesus tells us what, that we must love our enemies. What should we do and how should we love our enemies? First, we must have a look at the Father. Our Father is God. We must see that God is merciful. Be merciful, therefore, as your Father is merciful. So let us follow and imitate the Father, the Father God who loves us, who does not judge, who does not condemn, who forgives, who loves with selfless love. We must be perfect as our Father is also perfect. The second way is to pray, to pray for our enemies to pray for our enemies. Do we really pray for those who have hurt us? Do we indeed pray for those uh, who, who do us something wrong? Do we really pray for those who persecute us? We must pray not only when we have enemies, but also when we perceive some hostility, some enmity. Love of loving our enemy is not a matter of choice. It is a central and defining characteristic of our Christian life. It is not something we can decide about. It is a commandment. Jesus knows very well that loving the enemy is something that is beyond our ability. But this is why Jesus became a human not to leave us as we were, but so that we might be transformed by him into men and women great, capable of greater love, to be able to love the Father of Jesus Christ and ourselves even more. And we need to draw strength from the Eucharist today. From the Eucharist today. This strength must become the beating heart of our lives, the beating heart of the church. The Eucharist does not separate me from other people. I cannot receive Christ by thinking only of myself. The Eucharist unites me, gives me strength, makes me want to meet my brother or sister, even those who do not love me. We must become one with Christ and with my brother and sister, whoever is sitting with me, next to me, with my brother and sister who needs me, the brother and sister who is sick, who has been abandoned, who is in danger, who has been taken away from me, who has hurt me, 
and who does not love me. This is the only way we can prepare a place for ourselves above in eternity when we become one with Christ and our brothers and sisters. The Lord will ask us how we have treated our brothers and sisters. He will ask us if we fed them, um, gave them drink, clothed them, went to them, welcomed them. If we become one with the Lord and one with our brothers and sisters, we will have a place in heaven. The Lord will also ask us if we have been merciful, just as a father is a merciful father. Let us not forget that, as Pope Francis said, whoever listens to Jesus, whoever strives to follow him in spite of difficulties, becomes a child of God and truly begins to resemble the Heavenly Father. We become able to do things we never thought we could say or do. Let us become bearers of love. May the Eucharist make us all bearers of the Lord's love. There is nothing greater or more fruitful than love. Love gives dignity to all of us. If we do not love, however, if hatred and revenge control our lives, we can destroy the wonderful beauty with which we shine as images of God, as God's chosen ones. Let us choose love, and let us choose to respond with love to harm and evil. When we do so, we begin to walk the path of mercy. It is a path that will change our lives profoundly. Let us be bearers of the transforming love. Let us go from here um, let us go home from Budapest to all parts of the world the, with the will to let love change everything fundamentally. And so, with this love, we will transform our world. Let us walk this world from Budapest to Quito and live in the subversive power of love. In 2024, we will welcome you uh, in Carita de Dios. As uh, so, in in the beautiful face of God, as Quito is called, in this beautiful country, uh, in the land of the equator, come to the middle of the world where the love of the Eucharist will propel us into the all-encompassing embrace of love, where we will learn how to break, share, and divide our lives with the outcast brothers and sisters of society, going from the love of forgiveness to the love of compassion. This is the challenge ahead of us. The theme of the 2024 Quito. Eucharistic Congress will be the Sacred Heart of Jesus. It will mark the 150th anniversary of the dedication of Ecuador to the Sacred Heart of Jesus. This heart is the same heart that teaches us love and mercy. Bless us, the Virgin Mary, Our Lady of El Quinch, Patroness of Archdiocese of Quito, Mother of Merciful Love. May she accompany us on our journey to Quito until 2024. Let it be. Amen. <laughs>
for the rich gifts of creation and salvation. For a willing spirit when encountering all provisions of providence. For our thoughts to be guided by the love of God and loving our neighbor. For work for the workers, bread for the hungry, consolation for the weary, and salvation to all. For our departed loved ones and benefactors to be accepted into the joyful company of saints. Padre Celestial, creemos que en tu amor eterno. Our loving Heavenly Father, we faithfully believe that you guide our human fate. With your everlasting love, let us serve you faithfully every day for our lives. Our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen.
Oren, hermanos, para que este sacrificio mío y ustedes sea agradable a Dios. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name. O oh God, the good of all his holy church, grant your church, O oh Lord, we pray, the gift of unity, of the peace, whose signs are to be seen in mystery in the offerings we hear, we hear present through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts, we lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God, it's right and just. It's truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For at the Last Supper, with his apostles establishing for the ages to come the saving memorial of the cross, he offered himself to you as the unblemished lamb, the acceptable gift of perfect praise, nourishing your faithful with this sacred mystery, you make them holy so that the human race bonded by one world may be enlightened by one faith and united by bond of charity. And so we approach the table of this wondrous sacrament so that but bath in the sweetness of your grace we may pass over to heavenly realities here foreshadowed. Therefore, all creatures on heaven and earth sing a new song in adoration, and we with all the host of angels cry out, and without end we acclaim. en verdad, Señor, fuente de toda santidad. Por eso te pedimos que santifiques estos dones con la efusión de tu espíritu, de manera que sean para nosotros cuerpo y sangre de Jesucristo nuestro Señor, el cual tomó pan, dándote gracias, lo partió y lo dio a sus discípulos diciendo, tomen y coman todos de él porque esto es mi cuerpo que será entregado por ustedes. Del mismo modo, acabada la cena, tomó este cáliz glorioso en sus santas y venerables manos, dando gracias te bendijo y lo dio a sus discípulos diciendo, tomen y beban todos de él, porque este es el cáliz de mi sangre, sangre de la alianza nueva y eterna, que será derramada por ustedes y por muchos para el perdón de los pecados. Hagan esto en conmemoración mía.
Cristo Jesús, Señor de la vida, que nos invita al amor, a la solidaridad y a la misericordia, está aquí presente en su cuerpo y en su sangre y es el sacramento de nuestra fe. Anunciamos tu muerte, proclamamos tu resurrección. Ven, Señor Jesús. Así pues, Padre, al celebrar ahora el memorial de la muerte y resurrección de tu Hijo, te ofrecemos el pan de vida y el cáliz de salvación y te damos gracias porque nos haces dignos de servirte en tu presencia. Te pedimos humildemente que el Espíritu Santo congregue en la unidad a cuantos participamos del cuerpo y la sangre de Cristo. Acuérdate, Señor, de tu iglesia extendida por toda la tierra y con el Papa Francisco, con nuestro Obispo Peter y todos los pastores que cuidan de tu pueblo, llévala a su perfección por la caridad. Acuérdate, Señor, de nuestros hermanos que se durmieron en la esperanza de la resurrección y de todos los que han muerto en tu misericordia, admítelos a contemplar la luz de tu rostro. Ten misericordia de todos nosotros. Y así con María, la Virgen Madre de Dios, su esposo San José, los apóstoles y cuantos vivieron en tu amistad a través de los tiempos, merezcamos por tu Hijo Jesucristo, compartir la vida eterna y cantar tus alabanzas. Por Cristo, con Él y en Él, a ti Dios Padre Omnipotente, en la unidad del Espíritu Santo. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O oh God, Almighty Father, in, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all oh glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. And deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of your Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, you who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always and with your spirit. Let's let us offer each other the sign of peace.
Hermanos, este es Cristo, el Cordero de Dios que quita el pecado del mundo. Dichosos nosotros que somos... Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. world. Blessed are those who go to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Oremos. Señor Jesucristo, te pedimos que podamos saciarnos con el eterno gozo de tu divinidad. Grant, O oh Lord, we pray, that we may delight for all eternity in the share in your divine life, which is foreshadowed in the uh, present age and by our, our reception of your precious body and blood, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Before the end of the Holy Mass and the blessing, please allow us to give you some special information on the rest of the day. After the Mass, uh, there will be a lunch break, and uh, uh, please, uh, the, the the delegates, uh, national delegates, uh, uh, go to the right uh, side of the um, the stage for coordination. So as for the lunch, which will uh, take place in Pavilion F and G, the pilgrims are asked to cooperate with the organizers to ensure a smooth uh, distribution of the lunch. After lunch, the afternoon facultation will start at uh, 2.30 p.m. in Pavilions A, B, E1, and E2. During the break, the titles of facultations will be displayed, from which you can choose the one you would like to attend. Please arrive to the selected facultation on time, at least 10 minutes before the start. Those wishing to confess will have the opportunity to do so during the lunch break of the foyer of the chapel, which can be found on the other side of the Pavilion B. Before the end of the Holy Mass and the blessing, please allow us to give you some technical information on the rest of the day. We would like to ask the national delegates of the Congress to go to the right side of the stage for some minutes for a short meeting after the Mass. After the Mass, there will be a lunch break, and you are welcome to visit the buffets in Pavilions F and G opposite the Plenary Hall. With regard to lunch, we kindly ask the pilgrims to cooperate with the organizers to ensure a smooth distribution of the lunch. After lunch, the afternoon facultations will start at 14.30 in pavilions A, B, E1, and E2. During the break, the titles of the facultations will be displayed, from which you can choose the one you would like to attend. Please arrive to the selected facultation on time, at least 10 minutes before the start. Those wishing to confess will have the opportunity to do so during the lunch break in the foyer of the chapel, which can be found on the other side of Pavilion B. Thank you for your attention. La Escuela Quiteña produjo bellas obras de artes. Una de esas fue una imagen de la Virgen Santísima. One uh, uh, school created beautiful uh, pictures. One was made of uh, the uh, Holy Virgin, which, uh, which uh, 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 inspired a beautiful uh, sculpture. The, uh, the, the coat of the Holy Virgin uh, uh, protects uh, the city of Quito. We, we brought uh, a present for Cardinal Peter Erdo. Uh, uh, in, uh, it is a symbol of, uh, that you are welcome to the next uh, International Eucharistic Congress in Ecuador. The, uh, this is the sign of the, uh, the, the gratitude of the Bishop of Ecuador to your nation will be given to Cardinal Peter Erdu.
Y María ha estado en este congreso como en el Evangelio. Mary was with us in this Congress as uh, uh, silently she listened to, to the, uh, the Gospel. I always finish the Eucharist uh, by praying to the Holy Virgin, stand up and pray together the Ave Maria. Bendita eres entre todas las mujeres y bendito es el fruto de tu vientre, Jesús. Santa María, Madre de Dios, ruega por nosotros pecadores, ahora y en la hora de nuestra muerte. Amén. El Señor esté con ustedes. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Blessed be the name of the Lord now and forever. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Our help is in the name of the Lord. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.